Hi, I'm Savannah Jane Buffett, and welcome to my new show, Savvy Spots, where I look to you out there in the social media universe to tell me where to go. Just use the hashtag Savvy Spots to let me know where you think I should go hang. But first, since we're in one of my favorite cities, New Orleans, I'm going to show you one of my favorite spots. So I'm in New Orleans for the annual New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, which is one of my favorite things to come to. And this is my friend Broad's house. And what people don't know about Jazz Fest is a lot of things happen outside of the fairgrounds. And all these homes that are in the encircling area, people open them up, they sit on their porches, they play music, they have a drink. It's really a good vibe and it happens all around the fairgrounds. So this is my spot. And if you don't have a friend that has a porch surrounding the New Orleans Jazz Fest and the fairgrounds, you can just go out and make one because people are so open and friendly this time of year here. They will open up their doors, they'll let you use their bathroom, they'll make you a drink, and, and hopefully have you pick a song on their porch. Well, it looks like I have my first hashtag, and Kyle is telling me to go see the Rose Tree Glass Blowing Studio, and I've always wanted to do that. We're here at Rose Tree Blown Glass Studio and Gallery. We're gonna meet up with Mark, who's the owner and artist, and he's gonna show me how all this beautiful work gets done. Tell you what, why don't we have you make a piece? Oh and would you gosh. like that? Yes, that would be amazing. All right, I'm thinking a tumbler. That works, cocktails. I like cocktails, okay. so that works for me. If you go first, I'll follow you. Ah, there's so many dangerous things in here. I am ready. So what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna put the end on. Okay. And then, hands off, and I'm gonna, I gotta, do a couple things before you start to blow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Stop it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so, it's a minefield of innuendos in here. Oh my god, yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you're gonna blow it one more time when I tell you. Okay. No giggle there, that was great. Nope, I held it in that time. <laughs> okay, keep breathing, keep spinning, keep breathing, keep spinning. I'm gonna be inside, you're gonna be on top, lightly <laughs> pressing, <laughs> lightly stop. Okay. I'm gonna be on to just on top oh, of my tool. Oh, on top on of your top of here. On top of your tool. Perpendicular, straight up. Oh, sure, right okay, here. okay. This is called a glory hole. No, it's not. The hell, it's not. I, I did. Who not, named it that? I don't know which came first, and don't even okay. say that. Either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, this is our moment. This is our this is our paparazzi it's moment. It's beautiful. I love it. I've now, never seen the process. You're no longer a virgin. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you, Mark? Nikki just told me that I should go check out Scully's Records in the French Quarter, so it looks like for better or worse, I'm <laughs> off to Bourbon Street. I am here at Scully's Records Yes. with Scott, the owner. Yes. Uh, and we're on Bourbon Street. You're obviously yeah. a good curator, I can tell, because most record shops I go into, there's like, you know. Yeah, I have to, pretty much. It is right. a small space, and if something's not moving, then... Then it has I gotta to go. make room for something else. Right. Yeah. Do you have any Prez Hall? Because I'm friends with I those guys. I do have Prez Hall. I've got. Well, that's old school Prez yeah, Hall. Yeah, that's definitely old school. This is amazing. These are all the old school musicians. I spent a lot of time over there with the Prez Hall guys now, yeah. but none of these guys, none of these guys are still there. No, no, because you know they pass. They, they pass, pass it through. on. Yes. Yeah. That's the that's the interesting thing is it's generational. They teach yeah. it down the lines. It's exactly. such a beautiful experience. Do you have Alan Toussaint? I believe he was down here. Let's dig for him. Yeah. Oh, it's an early, early my one, yeah. Goodness. Young. I've never even really seen a photo of him that young. I know. <gasps> he was such a dapper man. Since I'm in the French Quarter, somebody is recommending Tiki Tolteca, which I'm guessing means I'm about to go get a cocktail. Okay, let's make this basket face. Now all I used was a little bit of uh, Diesel 192, set it on fire, 190 proof. Okay. All right, that's what's also in here and the cinnamon. You okay. Ready? Yes. Ready. Woo! 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 That is a lot of fire. <laughs> oh, that's good. Do it again. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait for me. <laughs> Nice. Well, we started the day at one of my favorite spots in New Orleans, the Jazz Fest, that I've been going to for forever. And so I wanted to end the day at one of my new favorite spots, the Fly. And we are here on the mighty Mississippi River. This is a place where people come to just check out sunset, drink a beer, sit on a blanket. And I learned about this place 
only uh, about a year ago for my boyfriend Joshua. He brought me here and we rode our bikes. It's right near Audubon Park, which is really beautiful. So you ride through the park, end up here, hang out, and watch the lovely sunset over the Mississippi. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go meet Joshua and have a beer.